Hello everyone, and I'm back on Hypixel playing some more Skyblock, this is episode 4, and today I wanted to get some hardened diamond armor, and make a giant pumpkin farm. Now the hardened diamond armor, obviously, it's hardened diamond, so it provides quite a lot of defense. And I need the pumpkin farm, just so I can get a ton of coins, because I would really like to have a decent supply of coins, and I've seen videos where the pumpkin farm does just that. So I wanted to get both those things done in this episode. Now I have all these diamond minions uh, working right now. I want to collect the diamonds, see how far I am in my diamond collection, and yeah, we'll go on from there. So collection, mining, diamonds, and okay. That's not bad, I'm almost tier 8. What's Okay, tier 7's hardened diamond. So I can craft hardened diamond. I believe it's just regular enchanted diamonds. Yes. It's just regular enchanted diamonds. So in this chest here, I should have plenty of diamonds to craft this armor. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have to use these blocks to create more enchanted diamonds, but we'll have to find out. So, there we go. I'm pretty sure there is a way to craft armor super efficiently instead of having to place every diamond out exactly. I don't know what that is, I don't really remember. But, uh, yeah, it looks like this armor provides quite a bit of defense. I do kind of want to see what the set bonus is. How much defense do I have? 342. That's not too bad. I don't have like any health though. That's the only problem. Okay, it doesn't have a set bonus like the Lapis does. And that kind of sucks, but... Yeah, it is really nice to have this much defense. I don't know if the Lapis armor is like any better than the Hardened Diamond. Because this one gives you more health. But this one gives you a lot more defense. I'm definitely going to keep the lapis armor. Probably in my ender chest. Just in case I want to go out mining. Get some experience. Because the uh, lapis armor gives you 200% bonus. Of experience. Which is quite good when you're mining emeralds. Or even diamonds. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to survive in diamond mines with this new armor. But uh. Actually I should probably test that out. We'll put this armor through. A lot of tests with the diamond mines. I'm just about to go to the diamond reserve so let's see how I can do against these mobs and if I can survive easily I'll go down to the obsidian sanctuary. I'm gonna let this zombie get a hit on me. Alright it doesn't do that much damage to me. That's pretty good. So this is definitely better than the lapis armor. I also have a decent sword that can kill them pretty fast so that's that's good. Now I'm gonna go back to the lift and see if I can survive in the Obsidian Sanctuary just as easily. I do get a lot of lag in these mines. I think it's because of all the players. Is this guy gonna like attack me? Oh, okay. Those zombies are powerful. So just keep in mind this armor isn't enchanted yet. So I can get protection 4, and I don't know if I can craft protection 5 upgrades, but if I can, I definitely will. And I can also get growth 5 on all my set pieces as well, which could be like plus 60 health or something like that. That's pretty good. So if I get growth 5 and protection 5 on all my armor, I should be good to go. Prot 5. Prot 5. Prot 5. And last, but not least, Prot 5, let's go, full protection 5, hardened diamond armor, all ready to go. I could also get growth 5 on this, which is uh, kind of expensive if I remember right. This is in the dark oak wood collection, it's right here. Okay, I only need like 6,000 more oak logs to be mined. And how do I actually craft it? 
Ooh, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of dark oak wood. But, I mean, with that 10,000 that it takes to actually get the growth 5 recipe, I should have plenty of wood to make that. So I'm hoping it won't be a problem whatsoever. Alright, so after about an hour of mining dark oak logs, I finally unlocked the growth 4 recipe, and I've also gotten plenty enough logs to craft 4 growth 4 books. So yeah, hopefully I should have like a ton more health after this. Now the real question is how much XP does it actually give you? Or not, does it give you, how much does it cost? Because I already have protection 5 on this. So let's see how much it takes to add growth. Okay, 10. That's not that bad. I can deal with that. I just get on my lapis armor and go mine in the emerald mine. Then I should be fine. Okay, I finally got 40 levels. So now I can enchant all of my armor with growth 4. And we will be unstoppable. Alright. And the last piece of armor there we go full hardened diamond set with growth 4 but wait we can still be more powerful all right it looks like each piece of hardened diamond armor goes for about 1,000 coins to reforge so I only have about 12 tries to get the right reforgement on all of these pieces so let's just go Superior. It's not negative, so I'll take it. Clean. That's just better attack speed. Unpleasant. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, plus 7 strength is pretty good. do better than that forceful take that now I can reforge four more times do I want to I think if I was gonna reforge any of them again it would be the leggings all right one last chance let's hope for the best Okay. I mean, we got okay reforgements. They're not the best, but they're still pretty good. And I'm fairly certain I can still get a little bit better enchants on this armor. However, I really do need more coins, so I'm going to start building that pumpkin farm. So, I was going to include the footage of me building this pumpkin farm in the final video, but the footage got corrupted and yeah, I can't use it, so I can still show you the pumpkin farm, just not the steps I took to build it. Basically, just a four block wide strip of dirt going really far down that way. The next to it's water, then another four block strip of dirt. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you wanted to build this, all you need is this footage right here of me showing you what it looks like, and you'd probably be fine. So. I have had the chance to get this farm tested out, and about a stack of pumpkins sells for about 300 coins, which is pretty good because if I harvested all of this, I'd probably get about 6 stacks of pumpkins. So that's 2,000 coins in one harvest, which isn't that bad. 2,000 coins is a decent amount, so I'm definitely glad I built this pumpkin farm. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, remember to like subscribe, I hope to see you in the next Skyblock video. Bye everyone!